the most creative black ops one zombies maps now there may be a lot of thoughts running through your mind right now out of all the bo1 maps which was the most creative well first let's define creativity and how we're going to be basing these maps throughout the rest of the video now the definition of creativity is relating to or involving the imagination or original ideas especially in the production of an artistic work so how we're going to be judging these maps is based off of the things that are, are added to that map whether what was added to the map was an item or a specific feature so some examples of this would be kino uh um yeah they really did nothing to kino it, it's basically a reskin of Darius. in five they added the first buildable in the game way before they added it in bo2 and what this buildable is is the traps that you see upstairs in the the first spawn room in ascension they added the first boss that steals perks in call of the dead they added the first boss that is permanent throughout the entire rounds unless you end him and he won't be there for the remainder of the round shangri-la added the first um Shit, i don't even know like, um, i can't even tell you that like i i don't know and moon was the first map to add an infinite round at the beginning of the game and any other time that you go to no man's land but out of all of this, which was the most creative? <laughs> Comment what you guys think I'm gonna say right now. I'll uh, I'll give you five seconds. Okay, okay, I'm gonna say it now. It's Ascension. Hands down, Ascension is the first map to make any real innovation since Pack-A-Punch in Darius. This was one of the craziest maps in the day and added so many new features that made the game so fun compared to when we just had Keynote or Toten in 5. To this day, I remember my first game of Ascension. It was that fun. And not gonna lie, every map after Ascension really just felt like it fed off Ascension's creativity activity instead of bringing its own thing to the table now you may be like gage you know that you're talking some big talk bro like you're, you're talking some big talk like you're not you're not even gonna mention moon what so let me tell you guys all the innovations that ascension made First off, Ascension brought two new perks, the newest perks there has been since Varuk. And if you guys don't know, Varuk was added to the game in 2009, and this is 2011, and you're finally getting a new perk. And the map has an infinite trap that you don't even have to pay for, and it's always running on the map. You start off the game in black and white until you turn on the power, which by the way, that was oh my god i remember turning on that power like i haven't i didn't see gameplay of ascension at all before because it was like 2011 and i turned on the power and the whole map oh my god that that was it was so awesome i remember that so well this was the first map that we had a boss that wasn't hellhounds or the pentagon thief and not only that but it also stole your perks and not only that, these are the only bosses that has like a really cool feedback. Like for instance, you can throw a grenade at one of the monkeys and they will throw it back. Which other boss in, in zombies does that? No, it's just monkeys. And not to mention, they added Matryoshka dolls and the coolest item ever added to COD zombies, in my opinion, the Gersh device. This was always the best thing in zombies. And like, it's always resonated with me so much. And this was the coolest thing. And I hope you guys are kind of understanding the impact that this map had because there was so many things added that were in other maps. But those maps never really brought anything new to the table. Moon is a runner up to Ascension, but by far. All Moon really did was added a, a suffocation mechanic where if you break windows and you're letting inside, you know, that moon, moon air. Moon doesn't have an atmosphere. I'm kind of retarded. It added that. It added a boss that would steal your perk just in a different way. And 
it added one new perk to the game which allows you to carry three guns see moon didn't really do much and if i'm like leaving anything out i i really think moon not even close to as innovative as ascension was and don't even get me started on all the times of phd flopping in random lobbies with people those were like some of the best times to me in zombies and one of my best memories definitely i have a huge nostalgic lens for black ops 1 and it really sucks that now nowadays i go back and play black ops 1 and it's not really what i i remember it as because definitely you know black ops 1 is the most played game that i've ever played i have several thousands of hours on kino alone which is more than my second most played game which is fortnite anyways guys thank you so much for watching the video i really did enjoy making this one because i was thinking about this a lot i've actually been sitting on this video idea for about a week and if you agree with me or disagree with me make sure to comment it because I, I i feel like a lot of people will disagree with me on this you know i i know there's a lot of people who's gonna be like no no ascent no no but anyways guys thank you so much for watching if you did enjoy you know like and a comment they always help out the channel a lot and if you want to see more content like this make sure to subscribe with on notifications on. anyways guys i love you all and i'll see you in the next video peace <laughs> oh, shit. But out of all of this, which was the most creative? <laughs> oh, look how dirty my feet are. Yeah, freaking Rabio 9's gonna like this, bro. Yeah, look at those toes, they all nicely shaped. Fingers down my side.